shining now. Currently the youngest female DJ in Ghana now. The award-winning DJ Switch is with us in the studio this morning. Apparently she's on midterm, so she has an excuse to be here. Good morning, darling. How are you? Good morning, finding you. I'm doing very well. It's good to see you in person. My goodness. Wow. How does it feel to be famous, DJ Switch? Um, I feel very happy. I feel great. You feel great. Yeah. How, how do your classmates react to your newfound fame? Okay, actually we are all students. Okay. So we all need to behave like students. Okay, so you all behave the same. Yeah. And you don't feel like you're superior or anything. No. no. But don't they give you like extra attention when you're in school? Like when is anything they say, oh, you DJ switch go first kind of thing, do they? Um, we all have talent. <laughs> so, so you can predict. Yeah, you can't predict. Okay, that's good. But we all call you DJ switch. What's your real name? My name is Erika Amabra Bulu Tando. Okay, Erika Tando for short, right? Yeah. And DJ Switch for big. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, nice, nice. I'm glad. I'm, I'm totally excited to be talking to you this morning. I didn't even know where you started from, but I'm sure our listeners too would like to know. So we'll just go back and tell your story from scratch. How old are you, my dear? Um, I'm 10. I'm, I'm sorry, but they say it's not proper to ask a lady how old she is, so pardon me if I, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I jumped any barriers. But DJ Switch is 10. Totally amazing with a lot of talent. So tell me, when you were growing up, what did you really like to do? Did you like to play with dolls, or did you like to watch TV? Did you like to watch cartoons, or did you like to play ampe with your friends? What do you like doing? Um, my, my favorite, what I do at my favorite leisure time is listening to music. You like to listen to music. Yeah. What kind of music do you listen to? Um, I listen to foreign, mm -hmm. I listen to local, mm -hmm. I listen to foreign gospels, I listen to urban gospels, and I listen to, you know, normal, normal gospels. What, so what's your favorite kind of music? I like all music. You like all music. Yeah. And um, anything you like to sing very often, maybe when you're in the shower taking your bath, is there a song that you sing most of the time? Um, I sing a song about the story my mommy told me. Yeah? What story is it? Share it with us. It's about a little girl who lived in a village mm -hmm. and was very, very stubborn. Mm -hmm. and then Are you stubborn? No. <laughs> and they, they had the sacred day uh -huh. for a girl called Tala. Right. But that girl, when the sacred day came, mm -hmm. their mother prepared beans and Nyake ate, that's the girl, Nyake ate. Nyake said, my belly is not full. <laughs> so the mother sacrificed her food and, and gave, gave it to it Nyake. To right. Nyake ate all and said, still. She wasn't full. Then the father also sacrificed his food mm -hmm. and gave it to Nake. Nake said, no, my belly is not full. I need to be satisfied. So she kept eating. So when they went to sleep for the day to be over, mm -hmm. Nake sneaked out of the room, mm -hmm. picked some utensils, went to the farm and prepared food and ate for his be her belly to be full. With, with produce yeah. from the farm, right? Yeah. Okay. On her way back, she could not find her way back to the house. Mm. And all of a sudden, she saw wind all around her. You know, when the president is coming, mm -hmm. we have police leading the president. Mm -hmm. But that one, when the god was coming, it was dwarfs. Ooh, that's so, eerie. <laughs> <laughs> so they were leading the god. And on that time, a hunter too was returning from the farm. Mm -hmm. And because the hunter knew the god is coming, mm -hmm. the hunter just shouted, Talalibo, tala, talalibo, tala, talalibo, tala, talalibo, tala. And because Nyake is a very stubborn girl, mm -hmm. she was saying, Oh, who is this? Girl? I can't even find my way back. And you are also disturbing me. So whenever the hunter sings, then Nyake. Nake will respond. And when the god got to Nake, the god raised Nake 
Tier and Tier in the, in the center oh, of the town. Oh, so definitely that's a story that we had to learn something from. So what did you learn from that story? I learned that we are not supposed to be stubborn. And there is another story my mommy told me that was very, very amazing. And the song goes like, Mama Abnam Kun Kundi, Mama Abnam Kun Kundi, Mama Abnam Kun Kundi, Mama Abnam Kun Kundi, Abnara Kwanda Peso, Abnara Kwari Yeso, Nara Kwani Meso, Abna Nyobian Son, Kopemu Hasen Kozana, Abna Chimia Bekumi, Abna. Oh, isn't that cool? So those are the kind of things that you sing when you when she was in the bathroom. Yeah. I had to take I had to take some time to learn all this all these songs. I like the first one though, the one with Nyake. Pretty bad girl, huh? Okay, you probably want to sing it again so I can learn. Talali bo tala, talali bo tala, talali bo tala, talali bo tala. And they reply. <laughs> I like that. That is so funny, but that is so cool. Well, I'm glad that you know you can also revel and enjoy being a child. But at what point in your life did you realize that, you know, you you didn't only enjoy listening to the music, but you wanted to be a DJ? Um, you know, we have some kids mm -hmm. that at the leisure time after learning, the one who play Ampi. Mm -hmm. But I'm also a kid that at my leisure time, when I'm done learning, I want to listen to music because, okay, let's say DJing mm -hmm. is my game I play as people play Ampi as their game. Right. And, and the reason why I'm asking is also because, um, you realize that all of this comes with a lot of machines. Now, no, not too many people have all those machines at home that they can be playing with yeah. as a hobby. So I'm sure that, you know, you probably went through phases before you got to the machine. Um, did you just get up one day and you decided, look, I want to DJ, or you, you were playing with other stuff and then it came along? You know, when I was watching Talenta is it? Season um, seven, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's say I'm watching Talentek is today. Um, this year is 2016. Mm -hmm. And I'm watching the next year. I'll tell my mommy, Mommy, I want to try that. Right. And my mommy even wanted me to go as a poet. Right. You like poetry? Yeah. Yeah? But because, you know, someone can come mm -hmm. as a poet. So my mommy wanted mine to be extraordinary. Yeah, it had to be different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she said then. Let me try my hands on DJ. Mm -hmm. So it took me five days mm -hmm. to learn DJ to audition. Right. How did you learn it? Where did you get the machine? Okay. You know, every spot mm -hmm. has a DJ. True. So in a hometown, mm -hmm. we went to a spot. Where's your hometown? That's in Western Region, so I'm under there, so. Okay. And we went to a spot, mm -hmm. we got a DJ. The DJ helped me, mm -hmm. but after we could use the machine, mm -hmm. we were using the Windows laptop. Okay, so you just used the Windows yeah, laptop. We have a software that called, called a Sarata. Are, um, virtual DJ. Virtual DJ you, of the you, know, you can use it mm -hmm. while you don't have any machine. Right. Yeah. So you you use that to learn DJing for yeah. the first time. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. For the first time, and as we were going on before the five days. Mm -hmm. They got the sports machine mm -hmm. and I rehearsed, I think within two days, I went for audition. How easy or how difficult was that? Okay. I was saying, DJing, learning DJing is not easy mm -hmm. and it's not also difficult. The, I said in my five top tips that the only thing you can do to help yourself some people have other, uh, some DJ have other skills that they do to help themselves. Mm -hmm. But my that I do to help myself is to practice. True. Practice is important in everything you do. Yeah. Yeah. And also to love music. Right. To be serious about everything you do. Right. To be excited and your attitude. 
your attitude is amazing, DJ Switch. And I mean, you can actually tell from the way she talks. She has an amazing attitude and I'm loving it so far. We're going to take a break pretty shortly, okay? And then we're going to go to our news at 11. But when we come back, there definitely will be more to talk about. And we'll definitely get you to use the machine so our listeners can also only not only see you at work, but also hear you at work. How about that? Good? Yeah, sounds good. Let's do that, yeah? So we've got DJ Switch also known as Erica Tando. <laughs> so before the break, she was telling us how she got into DJing, how she found a DJ in her hometown to help her out. She says it's not too difficult and it's not too easy. So we'll continue the conversations from there in a little bit. We'll check out what's in our show business news as well this morning. Don't worry, we haven't forgotten about that. There's more music too coming up for you later on in this hour. Some of your messages have come in as well for DJ Switch. There's one here from Eben. It says, Doreen, I just admire this girl. She speaks so well. She's more than a star already. Her parents should coach her well. She will go places. And here's one for you um, from Ajiman Joseph in Tema. He says, can you ask your guest who advised her to ride on the horse coming on stage at this year's Ghana DJ Awards? What do you say about that, DJ Switch? Who advised you? What was the plan? I would say that there's a creativity. There's a creativity. So who's, whose idea was it? Yours or mom? Me. It was your idea? Yeah. Yeah? You want to be like, you know, Jesus entering Jerusalem riding on a donkey kind of thing. Gringo. <laughs> Gringo. <laughs> oh, you are so funny. There's also another one here for you. So shout out to DJ Switch. She's a determined girl. She should keep staying with God and shouldn't push God out of the picture. She would reach the highest. She would reach the heights she can't imagine she can't imagine nice weekend doreen i'm just super excited waiting for my birthday on july 5. yeah well happy birthday to you in advance dj switch right here in the studio she's hanging out with us i'm sure there's several questions you want to ask so you can send them ahead on 0244-340-437 follow us on facebook you can definitely also watch us whilst we do that. The, we do the switching in a little bit. We'll get you to go to the machines, right? Are your fingers itching already? Mm. <laughs> Have you practiced today? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? yeah. Okay, good. Anyway, so tell me a little bit about how you got into the um, um, talented kids for TV3 a, a year ago. You know, I'm not the one who filled the form. Your mom did? Yeah, sure. Mine is to just go perform, being picked, when, yeah. Yeah, and um, initial stages, did you think that you would make it to the, to the grand finals? Were you working hard towards that? Yeah, it was by prayers. It was by prayers. Were you working hard? Yeah. Were you training a lot? Yeah, I was training very well because, you know, when you don't go for the finals, mm -hmm. you have been to Talenta Kiss, mm -hmm. but you've no one. Right. Yeah, right. So you needed to win. So who, who are some of the people who helped you out? I would say the first person, not even a person, is Supreme God. You're right about that. Yeah. Well done. God helped you out. And who else helped you out? Mom did? Yeah, my parents did. Right. My fans did. Your fans did, yeah. And did you get any coaching from any DJs yourself? Yeah, I, get, I got some coaching from... I mean, so many DJs. Right. There's and several of them that helped you? Yeah. My former school, Ideas Junior College, also mm -hmm. helped me. Okay. Well, if, if you say your former, your former school, what school are you in now? Talenta Royals International School. Oh, okay. So now you change schools. Yeah. Oh, okay. How long have you been in this new school? Just this, this new year? No, last year. Last year. Okay, late last year, so to speak. So tell me how you combine school and DJing on the side. How do you work it out? Okay. When, you know, as a kid, mm -hmm. with this, you're not supposed to joke home with this. Right. With this, you must go to your books. So, I live in a certain way that with this are uh, for my books on weekends, midterms, holidays, vacations, are uh, for the DJ. Okay, so you do you do your DJ practice on the weekends, yeah. and then you know when you're on midterm and when you're on holidays and everything. Tell me some of the lessons that you learned being a part of 
talented kids TV3. I'm sure it was it was for several weeks, right? For like yeah. 13 weeks. I'll say for like four months or something. Yeah, yeah, that would be about that. Yeah. So what's what are some of the lessons that you learned being a part of the whole team? I'm sure there were several other kids with several other talents. You had your DJing, you also had coaches, you also had people to mentor you. What kind of lessons did you learn? I learned how to relate to the crowd. Right. And I also learned how to behave in the crowd. Mm -hmm. I also learned how to communicate with the crowd. Right. So those those were some major things you learned. And what about learning to deal with, you know, children your age too? Because then everybody else was competing and everybody else also wanted to win just like you won. How did you relate to them? Yeah. You know, we all relate as normal mm -hmm. children but when I would say we relate as normal children when we come to the TV3 premises on Fridays. Right. But on Saturdays and Sundays, everybody know, knew um, how to re rehearse. Right. So you all have to think about what you are going to do. You don't need to think about well, everybody friend. else, right? So you were thinking about yourself and minding your own business. Yeah. Um. At that time. Were you worried? Did you think that you were going to win? Were you working hard? What, what was going through your mind through all those weeks that you were going back and forth every week to be part of the competition? Um, that was all my prayers. Right. You know, as I was part of the competition, mm -hmm. I can't tell whether I will win mm -hmm. or I can't tell whether I will win. Right. But you were so, working hard. Yeah. I was working hard and Continue praying, mm -hmm. and by the grace of God, I got. Yeah. So at that time, you were nine years old, right? Yeah. How did that make you feel? It's just it's nine year old, and you're just in the middle of people, and you're you're wowing them, and they're giving you fans, and you are learning to, you know, play the part and everything. How did that feel for you? Okay. In fact, I feel very happy. Mm -hmm. I felt delighted, and. You know, as a young kid, DJ, you need to be serious about what you're doing. It's not just by you being a kid. Mm -hmm. So you're being, you have so many fans. So it means you just need to repeat whatever you do. You need to work hard to agree whatever you do. Right, right. Were you tensed any time you came on stage to do your mixes? No. No? Because mm -hmm. it's the fans. I mean, it's a crowd. That encourages you? Yes, that encourages me. Okay, okay. The, the crowd encourages you. And yes, then... um, a kind of kid that if you tell me to perform and there's no crowd there, I'll feel shy. Yeah, it's like n now that I'm going to make you perform. Um, okay, then we should bring more people to the studio. <laughs> then they'll be clapping and say, go DJ, go DJ, go DJ. Then you can do your mixes. Okay, um, Philip, can you hire a crowd? We need the crowd. <laughs> we can do that for you, can't we? Yeah, definitely. It sounds like we can do that. So how long have you been DJing now? I'll say... For a year now. For a year now. Wow, it sounds good. For a year, and you're already what? Ghana's youngest DJ. You would actually think that it would be a boy who'd have, who'd have been Ghana's youngest DJ, right? But it's a girl. Yay! High five to girl power. There you Ah! There you go. High five to girl power. So, anyway, we're hiring the crowd just so that we can get you to perform, right? Folks, let's go into our show business news, find out what's cracking in there, and then we'll come right back with DJ Switch. She'll get her machines ready and then she'll be on the ones and twos and then you would get to hear her music. Which is amazing. Please tell her not to forget her education in the midst of all the funfare and the fame. And that's Senna giving you some advice from Madina. So what do you want to say to Senna? I'll tell her thank you. Well, well, thank you, she says. Senna, thanks for reaching out. That's my girl. The thing go. Big ups to you. And I know you cannot be limited. Super amazing, determined girl. I'll see you this weekend, girl. Much love. And it's from Ephraim. And there's another message here. It's from Fred. He's the GTA regional manager in Kofuridia. He says, Erica, we're waiting for you in Cove City for the Republic Day Bash. Are you heading for Kofuridia to perform? Yeah. You really? You're looking forward to it? Yeah. Oh, well, it must be good. We're going to put her on the, you know, on the ones and twos in a little bit. You ready for it? 
Yeah. Yeah. I want to ask you a question. Yeah, go ahead. Do you know what I'm gonna like about? Well, tell me. The way you speak. Oh. What kind of English you speak? <laughs> can you teach me? Please? I can teach you. Definitely, I will be glad. I am totally honored. I've got my first student for the next for the next couple of years, right? It's definitely gonna happen. We're gonna do this, okay? okay. All right, girl. So DJ Switch is my guest in the studio. What's going on in that beautiful mind? I'm on your magical mystery ride. And I'm so dizzy. Don't lie. My head. I'm in the future. I'm in the future. DJ Switch. DJ Switch. Ghana's youngest female DJ. Good job, good job, good job. We're totally excited about your performance here this morning. Yay! So all the boys came into the studio too to give you fans, right? It feels good. Okay, let me run some information by you real quick and then we can finish our interview right here with DJ Switch before we say goodbye at noon. Boy, the morning has gone past really fast. Eight minutes to midday already. As part of the 25th anniversary celebrations, the National Theatre of Ghana, under the auspices of the Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture, Ohio University, that would be nice. And is that what you want to do as your career, or you have other things in your mind that you want to do? Okay, DJing is something I like doing most, mm -hmm. but I want to be a gynae. So you want to be a gynae, but DJing should be your hobby sort of thing, right? Yeah. So that means we're going to be studying a lot in school just so that we can work all of that out. Yeah. Is that a good plan? Yeah. yeah, I think it's a good plan. We can go places. But I'm sure there's several other, you know, young kids like you who are probably listening to the radio right now and they probably want to be like you or they also have other talents that you know they also need advice on so they can also move on what would you like to tell them um i would tell them mm -hmm. to keep themselves clean yeah about hygiene right they should always wash their hands mm -hmm. after eating mm -hmm. and when eating they should also wash their hands after going to the washroom, super. And I want to tell our parents also that if you've seen such a talent in your child, you shouldn't hide it. Mm -hmm. you should help your child push it, I mean, bring it out. Right. So that's the advice I'll give to my mothers. Mm -hmm. And then the young kids your age. And I want to tell the president mm -hmm. that he should fund a creative art industry. Okay, he and should fund it. use me as a bridge because we have so many strategies around there, but they also have talent. Mm -hmm. So I want to tell the president to fund it so that we can bring out the strategic talent. Yeah, so the kids on the streets who have talent, he should make sure he funds the industry just so that they can also come in and be able to express themselves, right? 
That's a good thing. Anyways, we're truly grateful that you joined us this morning, girl. We can only pray that God guides you and we also look forward to seeing you on the international stage and we also will sit back and say we knew her from where she started. We will keep praying for you and we hope that you work very hard and continue to be you and also make sure that, you know, the sky is not given your limit. You keep soaring high, okay? God bless you, darling. Take care. Love you back and thank you so much for coming out. God bless you, kiddo. Thank you so much. Thanks to Mama. Thanks to all the fans out there. You make DJ Switch happen. Look out for her in a neighborhood near you. Folks, that's our show for this morning. Thanks to Philip Knight for all the support. You go on and have a good weekend. God willing, we're back here on Monday. Thank you so much for